Hey everyone, so my next project is going to be a bridge. I want it to be able to span between uh, two of these hills that I built here and uh, you know have troops move under it and uh, move across it. So it's got to be at least as wide as these troops here and it's also got to span a little wider than them too so they can fit underneath it. Um, plus I got to have you know a little extra for the landing of the bridge on each side of the of the hill. Um, eventually I also plan to build some modular rivers and uh, hopefully the bridge will be able to span the rivers as well. Uh, so as far as how tall it is, I want to be able to uh, get my troll underneath there. He's my tallest uh, model. And so he's about an inch and a half taller than the hill there. So uh, I figure the arch on the bridge has to be at least an inch and a half. Uh, so what I've done here is drawn up a template for the side of the bridge. Uh, that's what I want it to look like. Um, the whole thing is uh, an inch thick and then I've got my one and a half inch arch on the bottom there. I just used a compass to to draw out some nice circles. And uh, the way I'm going to build it is I'm going to stack two layers of this foam up and I'll, I'll cut it out of that. Um, so what I've done is I've marked out the width here of my, uh, my bridge. Let me grab my troops here. You can see that uh, it's a little wider there than the uh, blocks of troops. I left uh, just enough space so I can get a uh, three-quarter inch wall all the way over the length of the bridge on each side. Um, and then the next step I did was to take my template here and place it on the side and just trace it on there. You can see the uh, see where I traced it on there. And so now the next step is to take it to my hot wire cutter. I'm gonna you know cut out this square then I've got another square marked out here for the other side of the bridge and then I will cut out two of these arches. Now the arch doesn't go all the way up the bridge because it's this foam is only an inch and a half thick and uh, the whole bridge is uh, you know it's like two and a half inches tall so I've marked on my template here where the uh, where the foam comes to so I'm gonna cut this piece this piece and then I'll trace out a third piece for the top of the arch that I'll cut as well the walls are gonna be three-quarter inches wide and three-quarter inches tall I'm going to make it out of this uh, three-quarter inch foam here as well. And I'll probably actually cut individual blocks there and, uh, you know, round them and angle them so they can uh, stack neatly on the bridge. So now I'm going to go cut it out in the hot wire cutter. Okay, so I measured out the uh, the top piece as well for the, uh, the the top part of the arch, and so I'm going to cut that now. I decided that uh, I'm going to do half inch walls on the bridge instead of three quarter inch, so I'm actually going to cut the other two pieces down a little smaller as well. I think that uh, three quarter inch is just a little too wide. I've got the start of my bridge here. <clears throat> I traced out the arch on here, so now I'm going to cut these out. It's 
is going to be my first attempt at uh, freehanding a curve, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. But, uh, you know, it can be pretty rough because I'm going to sand it down afterwards. That's the rough outline on my bridge there. Now I'm going to glue these two pieces together, or three pieces here, and then after those dry, then I'll sand it. So I got the archway glued up. Now I'm going to cut out some uh, MDF for each end of the bridge to land on. I cut out a little template here so I know about how big the, the bridge would be on the landing. So I figure it'll come about there. And then this area up front here I can use to kind of slope dirt up to the bridge. Uh, so it's got a nice smooth uh, on and off entrance there. So I'm going to cut these out now. After I cut them out, I'm going to bevel all the edges with the wood rasp so it's got a nice even slope up uh, off of the table. Here's the finished product. Looking good. I rounded the back corners just a little bit. The front corners I rounded a lot. Okay, so I got my arch here glued together. You can see the two short pieces glued onto the, the long arch here. You can kind of see the seams there. Um, obviously there's a lot of sanding to do here to smooth this out, um, especially underneath here. Look, I got this, this huge ridge right here, um, but that's okay. That'll, that'll sound out easy enough. Um, it's a little taller than I wanted, so I'm going to try and really carefully run it through the hot wire cutter now and just shave a little bit off both ends here. Okay, now 
Now I'm ready to sand this down. I actually took the hot wire cutter and cut off some of the bigger ridges on here so the sanding will go a little easier. And I got myself three things here. I got a sanding block, uh, a metal file, which is uh, a little more fine grain than this, which is uh, a wood rasp. And uh, I think I'm going to start with this and kind of work my way up to something more and more heavy as I need it because I don't want to take too much off. So I'm not going to start with this right away and accidentally put a big you know, dent in the, in the arch. You can see the edge got a little uh, beat up here, but that's okay. It's a nice weathering effect, and I'm going to add texture to this anyways. All right, I'm going to use the wood rasp here to uh, add texture to this. All right, you can kind of see Oh, it's a little more rough looking now. A lot more random than uh, than smoothness before. So I whacked it a little hard and the glue's a little wet still, so uh, it came apart. I'm going to have to re-glue this. Hopefully I don't have to sand it again. Should be able to line it up pretty good. But now you see I got the texture all over it.